Recently, extreme weather is sweeping across China. Starting from March 20th, a new wave of all-round cold air mass has affected most parts of China, bringing about strong convective weather such as temperature drops, sandstorms, rain, snow, and hail. The northern region of China experienced the largest sandstorm this year, while the southern region suffered from heavy rain, strong winds, and hail. Especially in Jiangxi province, after enduring months of extreme drought, the first large-scale convective weather of the year arrived on March 22nd, bringing thunderstorms, strong winds, and hailstorms that hit many cities such as Ganzhou and Liuzhou. Videos posted by netizens show hailstones the size of eggs falling densely onto the ground and into rivers. Many cars parked on the roadside were not spared, with shattered windows and dents all over the car bodies, as well as puncturing holes through building roofs. Crops were heavily damaged, and some greenhouses were severely affected. According to the Emergency Management Department of Jiangxi Province, the storm and hail disaster has affected 38,000 people and caused an economic loss of more than 35 million yuan. Continuous rainfall eased the local drought, but some areas quickly turned from drought to flooding. On March 25th, flooding occurred in Ganzhou City, and many vehicles can be seen flooded in the video. The Poyang Lake in Jiangxi Province is the largest freshwater lake in China. Last year during the drought, its water area shrank by 80%, and the water level dropped to its lowest in over 70 years. However, several days of continuous rainfall have caused the water level of the lake to rise rapidly, with some areas increasing by 8 meters. On March 23rd, places like Zhaoqing, Qingyuan, and Guangzhou in Guangdong province also had hailstorms. Fuding City in Fujian province also had hail with the largest diameter reaching about 5 centimeters. Fuzhou, a city in Fujian province, also experienced a thunderstorm as if it were the end of the world. At around 11 a.m. on March 23rd, the sky suddenly became dark with rolling black clouds, turning the daytime into night instantly. Citizens reported that the blackness lasted for about 10 minutes, very dark like night. Photos taken by netizens shows the black clouds looming over Fuzhou like a devil, terrifying and fierce. Thunder and lightning added to the horror atmosphere, and many netizens commented that it felt like doomsday. Afterwards, strong winds, thunder, and lightning swept through, breaking many trees and damaging many buildings and vehicles. After the heavy rain, the streets were left in a mess. In southwest China's Guangxi province, there was also a hailstorm on March 25th. Hail fell in Nanning and Guilin, causing damage to crops and many vehicles were dented and smashed. In the midst of extreme weather like hailstorms and heavy rain in the southern regions of China, the northern region experienced the largest sandstorm of the year, even affecting central China. According to reports from Chinese media, strong sandstorms swept across 18 provinces and cities in China recently affecting an area of about 3.62 million square kilometers and a population of about 560 million people. Live monitoring shows that the sandstorm in Beijing began around 3 a.m. on the 22nd and lasted until 7 a.m., with an average PM10 concentration of 1,630 micrograms per cubic meter, reaching a peak of severe pollution level 6. Most areas of Beijing had visibility of less than one kilometer. In addition, Beijing also issued a blue warning for strong winds. As of 9 a.m. that day, the gusts in mountainous areas of Beijing were around level 8. As the sandstorm continued to spread in the north, there were even scenes of Mars appearing in Beijing, where the entire city was filled with yellow sand, and a blue sun appeared in the sky. Experts explained that this was because the sandstorm changed the particles in the air, absorbing red light and making the sun appear blue. Many areas in Jilin province in northeastern China also experienced severe sandstorms. According to reports, the city of Changchun was shrouded in yellow haze early in the morning, with scattered rain mixed with dust falling on pedestrians and covering outdoor vehicles in mud. The report described what was happening in Changchun as not rain, 
but mud falling from the sky. It is reported that this is the second sandstorm that the area has experienced this year. Many areas in Inner Mongolia also experienced sandstorms. Some people filmed the moment the sandstorm hit, where it turned from day to night in just one minute, and cars had to turn on their headlights. With the sandstorm came a sudden drop in temperature of around 10 degrees Celsius, and the amount of particles in the air continued to increase. On March 22nd, the visibility in Erenha, Inner Mongolia, dropped to less than 500 meters, and the sky turned orange. In parts of the western Xinjiang Basin and central western Gansu, there is dust and sandstorm with winds reaching over level 10 locally. In Gansu province, Yumen City's gusts reached level 11, and visibility is generally around 2 to 7 kilometers. A job fair at a university in Xinjiang was hit by the sandstorm, and several tents were knocked over. Later on, the dust and sandstorm spread eastward, affecting Inner Mongolia, Shanxi, Shanxi, Beijing, Tianjin, and Hebei, and the central western part of the northeastern region. This is the third sandstorm in the Beijing, Tianjin, Hebei area this year, and the largest sandstorm in the north. As one of the reasons for aggravating air pollution, the health hazards brought by dust and sandstorms have aroused public concerns in mainland China. In 2013, the World Health Organization first recognized that breathing dirty air outdoors could induce cancer, and concluded that air pollution causes cancer. Air particulate matter, including PM2.5, is classified as a Group 1 carcinogen, ranking even higher than 100 other known carcinogens such as tobacco. In this recent dust and sandstorm in the northern region, the concentration of particulate matter such as PM2.5 and PM10 far exceeds the critical value, and many areas are in a state of severe pollution. The Beijing Center for Disease Control and Prevention has also warned that dust and sandstorms have a significant impact on respiratory health, and an increase in inhalable particles in the atmosphere can cause respiratory diseases such as bronchitis, pneumonia, and emphysema. The dusts and sandstorms have affected more than 10 provinces in the north, including Beijing, and all have suffered a double onslaught of PM10 and PM2.5 in recent times. According to the explanation of the National Forestry and Grassland Administration of China, the vegetation growth in southern Mongolia in 2022 deviated from the conditions in 2021 and the average conditions of the past 20 years. The precipitation in the early stage of China's sandstorm source area was less than usual, and the soil moisture was also deviating, especially in the northern part of North China, eastern Inner Mongolia, and eastern Xinjiang, where the precipitation was significantly below average, causing deviations in the vegetation growth. Furthermore, since the vegetation has not yet turned green and the surface conditions are not conducive to suppressing sandstorms, this exacerbates the occurrence of sandstorms. However, according to environmental experts, the increasingly severe sand and dust storms in China are mainly due to unreasonable land development and farming practices. As we have discussed in a previous video, in order to respond to a potential food crisis, the Chinese Communist Party gradually implemented a policy of returning forests to farmland from 2020 to increase arable land and food production. This also means that the policy of returning farmland to forests that has been in place for over 20 years has come to an end. When the policy was first implemented in 1999, it was in response to the increasingly severe sand and dust storms in northern China by relying on forests to protect the ecological environment and improve soil erosion. However, now, due to a policy turnaround, Local governments have been cutting down a large number of trees, and many forest lands have been replaced with crops in response to the central government's policies. The CCP's flip-flopping actions not only destroyed years of achievements in preventing land desertification, but also resulted in low crop yields in the so-called newly developed farmland due to the existence of numerous capillary tree roots absorbing nutrients from the soil. Although farmers receive some subsidies, the losses they bear are enormous, 